this way today. Oh, Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way today. Lift your voice and sing. this morning. says, oh, be lifted above all other gods. How many know he's the only God? 
the only wise, the only true, the only sovereign, the only great God. I don't know what you came to do. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to lift him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, be lifted above our other gods. We lay our crowns and worship. the feet. 
feet of the Savior, at the feet of the Master. Yeah. We declare His greatness, the greatness, His mercy and His love towards us. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
voices be heard in the heavenlies. Let your voices be heard in the heavens. In the name of Jesus, say Jesus. Jesus is the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb. Amen. Oh! 
of God that we are in his midst. Hallelujah. I want to bless the Holy Ghost for being here so I could get in the house. Hallelujah. I want to give God thanks today. Praise God. And honor and magnify him for bringing us in here. I want to take time out to greet all that are present today in the house to our pastor Anthony Brown, we salute you, man of God. Certainly to Bishop uh, Dr. Colin Colley, his pastor, we honor those that are ahead of us and in charge and lead. Hallelujah. From the front, we honor those. And to every rank and file leader, every officer, every elder, every bishop, uh, to the Apostle Andrew Henry, who has graced us with his presence from Quebec. God bless you, sir. We salute all the household of faith to our honorable musicians who have been rocking in the Holy Ghost. I kind of like these brothers. They follow the spirit, not just the keys. Amen. They are spiritual musicians, and I bless God for that. And so I take time out to greet you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It is in Indeed, a blessing. We're not going to be long before you. I feel a push of praise. Uh, Apostle Andrew couldn't sit down. I saw him being pushed. But we're going to go to the scripture. I want to get out of your way. I'm going to get uh, Minister Sean Stewart in the way so he can keep the praises higher. Amen. Praise God. So at this time, I'm going to ask you turn your Bibles with me. Praise God to Revelation 21. To those who have joined us from our virtual platform and you are in our virtual space. All the spaces at Rafa are anointed. Oh yes, 1670 anointed, 312 Erie, where we dwell for a season in Leamington is anointed. And our virtual space is anointed. Ask those online, they'll tell you, every space in this place is an anointed space. Amen? And so we'll go to the book of Revelation chapter number 21. We will follow the order we've been reading in. I read and you respond with the alternate verse. Revelation 21. All right, I like that. Let's stand. Amen. Somebody ought to salute it. The surety of God's words. Amen. Somebody love it this weekend. Stand everywhere in the house. We tend to be at one since we're all, most all standing. Everybody please stand for the reading of the word of God. The revelation of Jesus Christ as per chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea.
And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Oh, mm. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new, O Lord. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. He shall. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Mm. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm. Help me, Holy Ghost. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. Having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like jasper stone, clear as crystal. Mm. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city. And the gates thereof. And the wall thereof. And he measured the wall thereof, and a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of the angel. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper. The second, sapphire. The third, chalcedony. The fourth, emerald. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were the transparent glass. Mm. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it. Lord have mercy. For the glory of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light thereof. Oh God.
Oh, I'm looking for this. And the gates of it shall not be shut all by day. For there shall be no night there. Lord, have mercy. Twenty-seven together, let's proclaim. And there shall be in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. Come on. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. I want to say that for you. There shall in no wise enter into it anything that defile it. Good God, you're not going there. Neither whatsoever worketh abomination. You're not going there. Or make it a lie. You're not going there. But look here. <laughs> but they which are written. Come on somebody. And Lord Jesus. Written where? In the Lamb's book of life my name is written there we are going to move back into the praise session we're gonna have a kitty wampus time amen praising the lord at this time my brother and friend minister sean stewart to you Hallelujah. in jesus name come on keep standing clap your hands and praise the lord everybody come on open up your mouth and shout hallelujah come on shout hallelujah Come on, everybody, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Clap those hands together and give God a praise. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. I can hear the church. Open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Come on, wipe those sticks off your lips and shout glory. Shout glory. My God. All you got to do is think, and if you think, you will give him thanks. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, Hallelujah. I'll never forget what, what you've, you've done, done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how, how you set me free. Come on. Jesus, I'll never forget Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you Shout hallelujah. 
We're going to take some testimony side and I want you to give it like you have it. All you got to do is remember and don't forget the goodness of Jesus. Testify real quickly and decide. Testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus. Keep it hot, spicy and short. Hallelujah. Go ahead my sister. Praise the Lord. Yes. I must stand up and give God thanks tonight. I must stand up today and testify. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace and your mercy toward me. Hallelujah. You know, after last night I was I was asked by someone, Are you sick? And mm -hmm. I said, Yes, I'm sick. So I'm gonna testify today because that's the reason why I, I sit most of the time. Yes. I have uh, sciatic nerves, I have spinal stenosis, I have con um heart failure. Uh -huh. I have kidney transplant. Uh -huh. I did two surgery dialysis, uh, hemodialysis and um, peritoneal dialysis. Uh -huh. I have so many sickness. There's just so much. So much. They, this is not, I'm not just saying this. These yeah. are what was um, diagnosed. Uh -huh. You know, and here I am today standing for God. God has brought me from a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. There was a time when I couldn't even stand up. There was a time when I couldn't even walk. I remember one day I was coming out of my bathtub, and it's, it's, it's just, you know, a standing shower. Yes. And I fell, and yes. I didn't move for a day. Yes. Somebody has to move me here, there, do everything. So my God is good. And I'm just grateful tonight, today, to know that Jesus, I don't know why Jesus loved me so. Yeah. I don't know why Jesus cared for me you so. But I believe he loved me. In my heart, yes. he loved me more than everybody else. Yes, he does. In my heart. Yes. For the things that he has done for me. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, I go blind in this eye. Completely. My no God. sight. It's filled with blood and gel. Yes. No sight. Can't drive myself to church. Hallelujah. Can't even see my food to eat. Hallelujah. I have to ask somebody, what is this? Yes. But here I am. God always Don't you take care. Me. I can see. Hallelujah. He's a wonder. Hallelujah. He's a miracle. He's a miracle. A working God. Hallelujah. If I were to stand up here tonight, today, and testify, yes. tell us all the things yes. that would never end yes. that God brought me through. I've been on the psych ward three times. My God. But here I am. Yes. God, I thank you. God bless you. Jesus, I love Lower. you. Come and on, I church. Give God it. a praise for her. Hallelujah. Give God a healing Hallelujah. praise for her. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his whole. Bless God for her. Bless the Lord and forget not all his benefits towards me. What? So I wish the church would praise God for her. Take a minute and praise God for her. Forget not all the benefits. What benefits? He forgiveth all my iniquities. He healeth all my diseases. Come on, clap your hands and give God thanks for her. Say, God, heal her. She needs our overall blessing. Say, God, do it. Set up a praise for her. Set up a praise. I will bless the Lord. Oh, Shata Katasha. Mama Masataya. Somebody praise him. Glory, testify, testify. Yes. This is the praise for you. Ah, yes. I just want to thank God for everything he's been doing. This summer, I took a summer school course to fast yes. track for grade 10. And I took civics and careers. And I completed my course. And the grades went through. But the teacher forgot to put in my last culminating assignment. So my grades ended up going down. But so my mom tried to contact our te my teacher. She yeah. wasn't able to respond. We contacted the principal. He wasn't able to respond. But luckily, my mom was able to find out who does the grades for the summer school courses. Yes. So she contacted them. And in the end, I finished summer school with a 97 in civics and 100% in, in careers. And I just want to say that when God has you somewhere, he doesn't just make you succeed, but he allows you to excel. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Testify, testify, testify. Testify, testify, minister. Come on, testify. Somebody stand up and testify. Yes. Shall we praise the Lord? Glory. Shall Anymore? we lift up the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Can we magnify his name on a 
of a yes. time. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. You know, my mind was there. Uh-huh. My mind was there to testify. And I said, yes. I'm not going to. Yes. But I thank God for you. Praise yes. God. You know, brethren, I give God thanks for his healing virtue. And we have to learn to testify in the moment yes. that we get the chance to. Mm-hmm. Because somebody is listening to find out, is this God real? Somebody's listening uh-huh. to know that he's done it before and that he can, can do, do it, it again. again. And I was in a church service like this. And I stood up under the same unction to testify that before I got married, I got diagnosed with PCOS. And I said, God, I'm getting married. I said, I can't have this in my system. Yes. And I, be, I went to a church service and the Lord touched my body. My praise God. God Almighty. And I went to the doctor and I got an ultrasound and I found out, praise God, that there were no cysts in my body because I was healed in Jesus' name. And I went to a service, brethren, and the same unction was on me to testify that God can do it. Yes. And in the same service, a woman sat at the back, praise mm. God, at Bishop Nunes, and said that she was in pain in the emergency room that weekend. And she asked God, God, can you do it? And when I stood up and testified, she got the reality and the word that God can do it. When we come into the house of God and we have the opportunity to testify, tell the people of God what God can do so they can believe him and come and be saved. God bless you in Jesus. You better praise God. Don't you forget what God did for you. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, I can't forget. I can't forget how he healed me. I can't forget how he delivered me. Come on, somebody, you can't forget. You you just can't forget. Canada celebrate what's called Remembrance Day in November. And they celebrate the fact, hallelujah, that there were men and women who fought for us, that we can have liberty. You got to remember what God has done for you. Come on, somebody. If you remember, give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. I will take it three more from this side. Give her the mic quickly. Testify, testify. Hallelujah. I can't forget. I can't forget what he did. Hallelujah. Testify. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. You know, I sat here and I always struggle to testify because every time I stand up, I cry. And I don't want to cry this weekend. Praise the Lord. You know, we were in Toronto and we were talking about coming to Windsor and I had somebody checking hotels, you know, and the hotel prices just weren't working out. And then after a while, the same person called back to say all the hotels are booked and we really wanted to come, you know. And so I was only thinking hotel in my mind. Right. And so we the Lord would just so have it that two persons connected with us and We chose the best option, praise the Lord. And as I sat here, you know, I was just thinking that sometimes you might be, you might have a particular plan yes. and you're just looking one way uh-huh. and God laid my family on somebody's heart right here in Rafa and we didn't even know yes. when the text message came in I said but of course yes sure why would I say no and I got my stuff together and I started packing so I stand to say today that when God blesses you when God opens doors God opens Hallelujah. doors, not just one door, but God opens doors and God opens doors with options. We yes. were able to say, call back this sister and say, we're not going to take yes. her option. We're going to take this option. The last time we stayed at a hotel, praise God, in 20 minutes, the security guard was at our door saying there's too much noise and we're disturbing the neighbors. So I was really dreading going to the hotel with the kids. And can I tell you? That we got a two-bedroom apartment Apartment, just for my family on a main floor. Nobody underneath us. Nobody to share the walls. And I just want to give God thanks. Come on, come on. Because God has been good. And you got doors in there. Come on, you better praise him. You better praise him. Come on, give God thanks. Some of you think it's little. And it don't mean much. But it means much. Because God is a provider. Come on, testify. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we bless the Lord? This week, um, I made up in my mind that uh, we were coming to, to Windsor, my sister and I, and we packed, and then we were Nobody checking. Nobody is standing on this side. Go ahead, brother. We were Go checking ahead. The, the flights. We were checking the train. We were checking everything. Sold out. We were checking the hotels. Sold out. I was going to drive my car. The Thursday, my horn stopped working. Can't take the horn the car without the horn at the 401. So we decided to drive her car. 
we got here, and I thank God for Sister Crooks for taking us in. And I made up in my mind I'm going to be here on Wednesday, and we're here, and thank God. God bless you. Let me take the last one from this side. I don't know about you, but I just feel like I'm a little bit satisfied with Jesus. Get ready for me. Get ready for me. I'm just satisfied with him real quickly. And then Brother Praise Dwight. The Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was just of Windsor in my mind. Yes. Never come to Windsor. I don't know what, but I just said Windsor in my mind. And out of the blue, a sister called me. I said, Sister Diane, do you want to go to Windsor with me? And I said, yeah. I went up, yeah, on the phone, yeah. And t- yes. <laughs> she was so excited. <laughs> and I said, God, here we are this morning. And it was a kind of struggle to get here. And uh, tell her the truth, uh, the, the husha put me up there. And I said, no, husha, I don't like up there. And, it's, and, I, and he said, go up there. And when, and when um, sir was leading the, um, the, the, the prayer service, and he said, somebody pray. And, and then we will pray after. And I just opened my mouth and my God. The Lord just fill it. And I'm giving God thanks to be here today in Jesus' name. Yeah, take Brother Dwight real quickly. Dwayne and the will remove from this side, Brother Dwight, in the name of Jesus. Testify. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm truly excited to be in Windsor's Convention for the very first time. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. And I just want to say, you know, to Pastor Brown and, you know, all the members here, you know, thank you so much for taking care of my brother and sister-in-law. And I just want to say, I have been through enough to know that he will be enough for me. God bless you. I just feel like I'm satisfied with Jesus. How many of you here is satisfied with Jesus? Come on, are you satisfied with Jesus? I'm satisfied with him. Hallelujah. He I'm said he'll be my comfort. With Jesus. I'm satisfied with him. Jesus. He said he'd be my comfort. Oh, he said he'd be my God. I'm baptized in Jesus' name. Carry out the altar till the Holy Ghost came. Come on, sing the song of the Lord. I'm satisfied with I'm satisfied with Jesus. on this side. Five over here. Five over here. Jump up and give it. Praise the Lord, church. Yes, sister K. Praise the Lord, church. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The sister said, praise the Lord. Look what the Lord has done. Yes. Look what the Lord has done. Uh-huh. Tell us what he did. He has done great and mighty things. Uh-huh. 
And I am here to testify because God has been so good to yes. me. He's been awesome. Mm -hmm. He's been so awesome. And I'm here to say this morning that I had to come here because there is a testimony. Yes. For last weekend, I just want to share that we were at the riverfront. Uh -huh. And the storm came. Mm -hmm. The storm came, but I know that God was in the storm yes. with us. And every one of us was okay. No one got hurt. Thank you, Jesus. Even though we lost a few tents. Yes. But I'm here to say this morning, God mm. has been so good yes. to me. Yes, thank you. And I'm here to say I didn't lose nothing. Yes. I pre he preserved me yes. on that riverfront. I may lose one or two tents. Yes. But he has given me double, double for my trouble. Yes, thank you. And he has restored me back more than I can Thank ever you. comprehend. There is a God after Thank all. You, Jesus. And this morning I'm here in the midst of you all the saints to say after eight years to 2015 I was injured in Brampton, Ontario Yes. At and they, the car came in uh -huh. I'm gonna, let me tell you the testimony. Go ahead. Because it was a long journey road yes. to come to this day this year but I know that I'm healed because he healed my body. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I was almost to go in the wheelchair, but I did not go in the wheelchair. Thank you, God. I was about to use the walker, and I did not use a walker. Because my faith, my faith that I had made me whole. So this morning, I'm here to say God I'm is healed. healed. Yes, God bless you. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Come on, celebrate with her. Let get me one. No more person this side. Stand up. I need two or three from here. Let's take these four real quickly. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. I got Praise six Lord. minutes, Praise so you got to cut it short. Go ahead. This morning, I stand feel, still standing, mommy. Go ahead. This morning, I feel compelled to talk about the goodness of the Lord in my life. Yes. It's not because of who I am. It's not because of anything good that I have done. Yes. But His mercies endureth forever. Thank you, God. I on Christmas morning in service, I could barely get through the service. I, I had a headache that was so intense. Louise, I left the service, went home, went about my business. Um, Boxing day, the headache got worse. I went to the emergency room. They realized that my hemoglobin level was really, really low, so they gave mm -hmm. me three pints of blood, mm -hmm. discharged me 3 a.m. the next morning. Went home. The headache was persistent. It wouldn't go. So I went back to the emergency room again the following day. Wow. They ran the MRI. Long and short of it is that they saw bleeding on the right side of my brain. Wow. They said I couldn't stay at that, that hospital. They, so they sent me to the other hospital where the neurosurgeon was. Mm -hmm. Ran another MRI, same diagnosis. Bleeding on the back of the brain, right, right, wow. right, right side of the brain. Mm. I had to be admitted to the hospital. Long wow. and short, I was in there for rough, about nine days. Mm. Couldn't eat, couldn't do anything, just blood pressure spiraling out of control. But the church prayed. Yes. The church prayed. Hallelujah. The church prayed. The church and prayed. I can you didn't say, hear church. I am here today because mm. God kept, kept me. me. I can tell you, He's my Jehovah Rapha. Yes. He's my Bam in Gilead. Yes. So many persons have testified this morning of the healing powers healing. of Almighty yes. God. And I can stand here in Rapha this morning to say, I know He's a healer Jesus. because he's a healer. He healed me. To God alone be all the glory yes. for the things He has done. God Come on, let me get these two real quickly. Let me get these two. I got five and a half minutes. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, mama. Testify real quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. New, it's New York Thank time. New York God time. Thank you for being in the, in the midst of, the, of his people today. The songwriter said, I tarry at the altar till the Holy Ghost say, praise of God. I didn't tarry at the altar. Till the Holy Ghost came. It was in my bed. Yes. Yes. God bless you, Mama. He's a faithful father. Yes. 
but and Jesus. He me. I said, God, keep me like the people down in Gosham. Tell it, Mama. Or when Egypt was having plague. Yes. And God said, you know what's so good to his people? Yes. They were living in grace. Yes. I think I come here. And my God, God provide for us. And protected you. Born here, yes. from the garbage can. Yes. And I never hold them for food. My God. God put a rope over my head. Yes. Give me a Yes. Give me five yes. And more do I want. God bless you, Mama. What more can you want? He's a protector and He's a provider. How many of you know that? He's a protector and He's a provider. Can you imagine Goshen? Hallelujah. That mosquito fleas came to the border and couldn't come across to so them. Testify and let me hand back over the mic. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 I'm so happy to be here today. Thank the Lord for journeying mercies. I remember, as Minister Stewart said, that we should remember. I just started to scroll through some testimonies that have been brought, that I have gone through in my life. I remember during the pandemic, I was thinking on my job one day that, you know, I'm just thinking that, you know what, I think it's time for me to get out of this position. I feel stagnant. And it happened that... I was in the presence of my bishop falling shortly. He doesn't know what I'm thinking. And when he was leaving, he said, let us pray. And in his prayer, he said, promotion, promotion, oh, sure. twice. And he grabbed my hand. And he didn't even know what was going on in my thoughts. Yes. And I know, you know, God just so opened the door that, you know, my manager came to me and said, you know what, there is a position that I think you should apply for. Yes. I applied for the position. I got it. I thank, thank God be for to God. When I thought it Thanks was be over, to God. Thanks be to God. When I thought it was over, within eight months of that role, there was another position. And everybody was saying, Sister, okay, on, this is for you. And I'm like, no, I don't give, I, I did not do justice to this role. Yes. I still need to. And I did not apply for it. And uh, my director came to me and he said, Keon, can you tell me why you did not apply for this role? I said, you know what? I just got into this one and I don't think I did justice. So I won't apply for that. And he's like, can you do me a favor, Keon? Can you please go home, talk to your husband on the weekend, and I will open back the entry for you to my apply. My God. I Somebody say favor. Somebody say favor. Go ahead. And you know what, Saints? It was closed internally, so it had to, it was open externally. So I had to apply external, go through HR and go through the whole process. I did the interview, but the next morning he called, he said, Keon, the job is yours. Hey. So when do you want to start? Yes, when yes, yes. That, that everybody stand up and praise God. That's just a precursor. When the man prophesied today, when the prophet prophesied today and said it's done, you be believe it. Wherever I am, I praise him whenever I can. For his love surrounds me like a sea. Brother Stewart, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. I know we feel the push. Hallelujah. But this house, you know, praise God, we operate and we love to operate under order. We're going to have three persons to come. And you see from example that we are dealing with the time. Amen. We're going to have you to come and to greet for just two minutes. Amen. Three persons. I'm going to ask Sister Alicia. Praise God, Montreal. You are one of them. Going to ask our dear brother Wilson from our Leamington location yes. to come. Amen. Praise God. Oh, but Rafa is at Leamington and it's a powerful church. Amen. So we got two there. Praise God. And pastor is going to give me the next one. Amen. How about that? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So we're going to begin with Sister Alicia at this time.
Hallelujah. 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 Can the people of God stand up to their feet and say, Hallelujah. run to church. So if you see me, if you see me, I'm going to say, excuse me. Let me praise the Lord. Greetings to the pastor, the angel of this house, uh, Pastor J.A. Brown. Praise God to my apostle, Andrew Henry, all the Rosham associates, and to all of my father's children. I'm greeting you in the matchless name of Jesus. The scripture says, in your scripture, it says, well, the Lord, the word of God, your theme, it says in Revelation 21 and verse 6, and he said unto me, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. God is so good to us, people of God. He said, it is done. It is done. I know what Jesus Christ has done for me. And he already wrote my name where it needs to be written. And all I have to do is to keep walking in the way that he has placed me. I know where I'm coming from. I did not grow up in the church. But when it was time, he said, it is done. It's time. So when I come into the house, I said, excuse me. Let me praise the Lord. Excuse me when you praise the Lord. Let the people praise the Lord in the house. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord a praise. If you feel the power of the Holy Ghost, open your mouth and give the Lord a praise. Anybody feel the presence of God in your system, open your mouth and give the Lord a praise. His glory is in the house. Somebody give him glory. Somebody holler the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. He's an awesome God. He's a keeping God. He's a young people God. He's an old people God. My God, what a God he is. Oh God, he saved me, that's enough. He keeps me, that's enough. Oh God Almighty, fire's in this place. The presence of God is in this place. If somebody could just get loose in themselves, people can begin to speak in tongues as the Spirit give utterance in this place. Ah, Shatai. I greet, I greet the Rastam Associates. I greet Pastor Brown. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I was here last night. Oh God, on the foundation of this place, the Holy Ghost shift. Oh God Almighty, the whole foundation of this place. I can tell you of a surety that God is in this place. Because when Peter, oh God Almighty, moved, he said, silver and gold. Amen. Praise the God. Not silver and gold. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. But when the apostles, they walked up at the gate, beautiful. Praise the name of the Lord. And they saw the lame man at the gate. They said, such as I have, uh, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and walk. I said, the Holy Ghost is in this place. Healing is in this place. Fire is in this place. I said, power is in this place. Don't sit on your seat, but it's time to receive fire. Yes, Jesus, hallelujah. Come on, give me a praise. Don't sit in this place. Stand up on your feet. Elder Newby, you are up, man of God. Believe it or not. Put your Bible down and run on up. Amen. Two minutes. God bless you, sir. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. 
I'm still feeling so. I don't know. I'm just feeling so. From last night, even up until today, I didn't, couldn't make the church. I sat outside and I was just so sick. Hallelujah. And I heard my sister testify that she had gone through so much. And I'm saying, I'm sitting here not going through as anything near that she has gone through. But I wouldn't testify because I said, I leave it for someone else. But I know a God. Shut up. I know a God who can. He's able to do more than I can think or imagine. And you know, I, I, I thought about it two minutes. There are many people today who are confused about God. They have folks telling them that they are Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yet the devil know that there's one God and he trembled. But we need three gods or they need three gods to chase one devil. But I'm here to encourage us, hallelujah. If you don't believe that there's one God, hallelujah, read again. One God. And he's able to do that which we want him to do for us. Our God is a consuming fire. And because he is a consuming fire, hallelujah, he can destroy every doubt, every fear that we have. And that we, Koshata, in the name of Jesus, will be able to give him glory. The one God. One God apostolic. God bless you. In Jesus' name. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Come on, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Oh, praise God. Come on, put your hands together for Sister Alicia. Quebec spoke to us. Leamington spoke to us. And Toronto spoke to us. Amen. It is indeed a blessing. Praise God. I'm going to ask Sister Carlin to just stand up and shout a praise. She's all the way from Connecticut. Made her overpass. She had to come to convocation. She was here last year. She, yes, so she's right back here to say praise the Lord. Shout, Sister Carlin. Marilyn. Amen. She, she didn't need it, sir. Yes, but she don't need it. Hallelujah. Lord of mercy. It is indeed a blessing. What a powerful, powerful meeting it is. Will you just stand with me? Praise God everywhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I got one thing to do. I'm handing over at 1230. Amen. Will you raise your hands with me? Could you breathe a word of prayer with me? I'm leaving a prayer. I'm yet to see somebody who is not filled with the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues. I'm yet to see somebody go in this watery grave behind me. Mandaya, can somebody pray on that with me right now? Father, in the name of Jesus, our God. Hallelujah. Lord, we honor you today. We bless you today. Father, we want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you for your grace. We want to thank you for your loving kindness. That's better than life. Hello, Shia. Lord, as we come together, oh God, it was you in Israel call the congregation together whenever you call Israel together there was a proceeding word hallelujah Lord when you call Israel together there is a divine instruction Lord Jesus when you call Israel together there was a sign and a wonder hallelujah Lord when you call Israel together they were better for it Lord today God, that Rafa is gathered, Abel at 167 to wind it, and on our virtual platforms, and we are saying, Lord, send the fire. We are saying, Lord, baptize somebody with the Holy Ghost. We are saying, Lord, send somebody in the water, regrave. Let somebody cry out, I heal, I heal, I cannot all 
no longer Lord I'm looking for it I'm looking for it I know you show up in this place Lord it was in a convocation like this that you sent me directly to Windsor it was a morning like this Lord it was in a service like this the very same preacher I asked you Lord to talk to me directly and release me Lord Jesus so I could come here or go where you want me Father you send a word to this very man of God he said Brian and that was it I fell to my face I said God you gotta talk to me by name and you spoke to me this morning I'm saying God talk to somebody by name call up somebody call up a Holy Ghost seeker call out a sinner this morning and do something for them for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory we honor you and we bless you now in Jesus mighty name amen it is 1230 under that at this time I'm going to hand to my leader pastor junior Anthony Brown who will take this service to the rest of his course God bless you pastor as you come in Jesus name I love you Lord for your mercy never fails me all my days have been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up till I You've been close like no other. Hey, 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 I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. I have lived in the goodness of God. Everybody say.
is Jesus. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. in an environment such as this where the anointing of God's present is flowing like this. Take this anointing and push it back 20 years. See what would have happened to the heart where it's anticipating. The place would have been completely disarrayed. I am thankful to God that I'm saved. And I know that I am. Yeah. Folks and brothers and sisters in Christ, this is where God meet mortal men. In an environment such as this. Bring your expectation to the level where you're not saying, I want God to just bless you. Father, me. The Lord revealed to me most recently, we, you know this song, you know, where is my hands, where is my feet? You know, we are his hands, we are his feet. But the Lord said to me from the perspective of revelation, 
you, meaning mortals, could never be my hand. That's correct. See, I deal in the, the revelation of God unfolding. We cannot be the hand of God. There is not a man to wield the hand of God. But we can be instrument in the hand of God. And that's where you want to be. Is in the hand of God. So he can use you for his glory. I could never be the hand of God. I can't be the feet of God. But I could be an instrument. Tonight, today, there is more blessing. I mean, this group here, this group there, this group here, this group there. If we put our collective expectation in the one pool that said, Christ, do it for us. If there's no one to be saved, fill us all again. Give us a second touch. Let's fill us again. And any sick among us, Father, heal everyone, everyone among us. Let us leave here drunk in the spirit. Some of you should walk back to the hotel room speaking in tongues and a French person walk behind you and start speaking back to you and then you'll get back to your senses and says, well, I just say certain things to you, and you're, you're telling me how good God is, and I would agree with you, and you have no idea. Do it, God. Do it, God. Do it again. Because he did it before. He did it before. Well, we're so blessed, <clears throat> truly, to be here in this, our uh, second, a third. This is the third already? See, time went for no human person. It seems as if we just started. I was saying to my bishop that so many folks went back and where did all these folks came, came from today? It's as if no one left. And I know a lot left. But here we are today. More coming tonight, sir. And I know there's more coming. But there is a word for the, from the Lord today. And I'm just anticipating where he's going to pull from the reservoir. We are blessed to have in our midst the Honorable Bishop Colin Cawley and and his lovely, quiet, beautiful wife. She's here and she was hiding but he told me she's here. So I take him at his word that she's here. Where is she? There she is. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Mother Carly. Uh, she's a good friend of mine, and I didn't I didn't know that she was here until Bishop told me. I was so happy that she's here, and she's gonna meet my other quiet half. So these two quiet half come together. They should have some sparks. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. We do also have Pastor McGann, my dear friend, and his lovely wife, Sister Caroline McGann. Stand, Sister Carol, so you can see you. Pastor McGann there. Now I told Pastor McGann I need um, 50.000K, and he uh, collected about 20, I think. So he has about 25 and change to go, and he's doing a masterful job. I mean, I, 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 mean, I couldn't do it, um, but he's just doing a wonderful job. Um, so I'm thanking God for him. And he actually ministered yes, in our day did. session. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. You know, he and the Holy Ghost. Then we have Mr. Brumfield Amen. came in this morning with his, his family and some more folks from Toronto. The Honorable Overseer and Apostle um, Henry in our midst. <laughs> Namesake, Minister Brown. Donovan Brown. Not Donovan Bailey, Donovan Brown. Because he's my brother. And then we have Minister Chris Brian, our moderator. Isn't our moderator doing some awesome job? Lady Archer. I think she's busy in the background. Minister Elon Clemens. Busy in the background. So we just thank God for them. And this 
awesome minstrel. God bless you, my dear brothers in Christ. And the ladies in yellow, along with my dear brother, Hector. Outstanding job as a minister in song. Praise God, praise God. So I'm doing something unusual. I do have the time. According to this here, I guess I recorded this information. It says here it is a 1.30 the minute the preacher's word is coming on. Look how much time I have. No, 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 no. So somebody, it's a typo. It's a typo. <laughs> somebody said, no, it's air. So, um, so I'm going to have Lady Brooks to come on up and say something. She said, oh, dear. She said, oh, dear. I always have a mic at the ready, please. Come on up, Lady Brooks. Okay, you could use my mic. You know mine. Sanctify Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Shout hallelujah, saints. Amen. I'm so glad again to be here today. Amen. Greet the house pastor, Pastor Brown. I called him a name last night. I won't touch it again. I just leave it for the Lord. Amen. And, and our bishop, Bishop Carly, the presiding, of, of course, of the organization, as you can see. Amen. And Apostle Law. Uh, Henry and all the ministers on the farm, Pastor McGann and all the saints. I want to talk so bad today about the Lord. <laughs> and all the saints. Man, Bishop, you pulled down the whole pemmican. Sir, you brought everybody over here. I don't know who is down there left. <laughs> I feel sorry for those. <laughs> Bishop, take all of us from pemmican. <laughs> I want to be down there and I want to be here. But I'm going to stay here today. Amen. I'm glad to be here today. You know, when I think about Jesus, I mean, so much things I want to say. Ah, Lord of mercy. We have a sister down in Toronto, Sister Florence Ricketts, which was sick. And I, I thought she was going to die. She was going to die for real. She told me, she said, I'm done. I, I can't go any further. Heart attack, pacemaker put in. And I, I noticed her come to church driving again. I said, God, you're wonderful. I confess. About four months ago, I said, please sell your car, Sister Florence, because I don't think you'll be able to. She said, I'm not selling my car. The doctor said I'll be able to drive. I said, I wish the doctor could tell you you're going to drive again. And the Lord supersede what I was thinking. And she's driving again. I'm going to let this out in the wash bishop in the air. Sister Petra was sick. And we heard this, you know, she's going to be going soon. Oh, God Almighty, she got up. She eat yesterday. She was on the outside. Oh, Lord, shoot for Sister Petra. Hallelujah. I want to behave myself. You come out, you know, I have to let it out. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yes, if you're here and you need a miracle, you can have it today. I won't, I won't tell you about my miracle, but I have how many years? It's going to take too long. And I have a whole list of things that the Lord has done. But today I am anticipating souls to be saved today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think the Holy Ghost is going to shake this place. Come on, Holy Ghost. Oh, God Almighty. Turn your radio on. Yeah. Turn your light down low. And listen to the master radio. radio yeah. And get in touch with God. Oh, shut up. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I'm coming down because Sister Brooks, she will talk all day, all night, all night about Jesus. And this is not a makeup story. I have a lot of folks that call me because, you know, they're one of those mothers that they call. And my story go on and on and on and on and on about Jesus. Do you wonder why you think I love him so? I give him my all in all. I give him my whole life. You can have the whole world. You can have Toronto, you can have Jamaica if you want it, and you can have Windsor too, but give me Jesus. He's my reason for living. Oh, he's a mind regulator, and he's a savior of the universe. And if you're here, you can have my Jesus. And if you baptize in the name of the Father and the Son, I'm going to come down. Please accept the name. The name to save you to go to heaven. It's a baptism in the name of Jesus to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Like on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I think pastor going to wreck this house today. But I'm ready for the fire. Somebody say Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. 
rain on the children, Lord. Rain on the middle age. Let the rain fall. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. My two minutes, two minutes up, yes. Yes, Lord. God bless you, God. Praise the Lord. I'll be here until tonight, until morning. We're heading on back home, but I'm going to shout. I don't know how to dance without my shoe, but I'll get something out. Oh! Praise the Lord. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise God, praise God. We're just going to keep a little fire like that burning. So these are the names. Minister Brown, Minister Brumfield, and our apostle going to close out this stream of fire. So it's not the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost fire. It's the God fire. The God fire. Namesake, my brother and the apostle, let the fire burn. And then we're going to close out that part of the fire as it burns so the main fire could, could come in. Amen? Now, don't worry about the offering. Y'all know, I know you know y'all going to give it, so don't worry about that. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody lift your hands and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. I feel a glory in this house. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Greetings. Greetings to Bishop, Bishop, Bishop Corley, my pastor and leader, and to the host pastor of this house, my namesake, Pastor Anthony Brown. Glory be to God. And all the Rustam associate and the musician and all of you, my father's children, I greet you in the most exalted name, the name Jesus. Somebody just say Jesus. What a beautiful name. What a wonderful name. The name Jesus. Hallelujah. Your topic, your topic is saying the surety of God's word. My God. We can't need nothing more than that. The surety of God's word. Isaiah, the needle-eyed prophet, caught the vision and he said, My God, his word cannot return unto him void so when God speaks a word it must accomplish a word is coming to you today I feel a word coming to this house this afternoon and when the word come it's not going to return void hallelujah the preacher said last night he's not going to fix it but a new thing is coming oh god i received that did anybody receive that last night my god he's not going to repair it he's not going to fix it but it's a new thing a word is coming and it cannot return void god bless you in jesus name can we give the lord jesus a praise Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody shout a hallelujah. Somebody jump on your feet and just shout hallelujah. Somebody shake the atmosphere with a hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. We bless our bishop. We bless Pastor Brown. We bless Apostle. We thank. We bless uh, all the other ministers on the on the rostrum. But uh, my God, I feel good in Convocation 2023. My God Almighty, we were home last night because we couldn't get the hotel, Bishop. My God, but we felt the service coming through the television screen. My God, I told my wife, the sound is right. Lord Jesus, when the sound is right. Come on, Bishop used to say the church of a sound. Lord God Almighty, when I heard the sound of the church, I felt the sound coming in my house. Come on, I wish you would lean on your neighbor and tell him you're in the safe zone. Come on, tell him you're in the safe zone. If you are in trouble, you're in the safe zone. The Holy Ghost is hot and ready in Windsor. You're in the right place. If you're in trouble, step over into the safe zone because the Holy Ghost is ready. I would say your grace and mercy has brought me through. But I don't have the time. Grace, mercy, and peace from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To the household of faith, my father's children, I greet you this day, this wonderful day in the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. 
to a great pastor, Pastor Junior Anthony Brown and Lady Mitra Brown. Come on, clap your hand. I said it in Francais. Clap your hand. Come on, give God praise for the man of God. Give God praise for him to Dr. Colin Colley and Lady Colley. I, I, I was happy to see her just now. I peeked over. I said, my God, I don't see her often. I saw her many years ago. Thank God for him. Put your hands together for the bishop. Amen. And to all my father's children and all the ministers, I greet you in the name of Jesus. You know, on my way here, my mind is very analytical and I think I'm strange, but on my drive here, I was thinking about two characters. Amen. One is uh, Karl Marx, who said something about people who believe in an unseen God. He says of them that this religion that they have, it's an opium of the people. Uh, that's what he said. The people are addicted to this religious thing. And it takes away from the true fight that they ought to fight. Then I thought about uh, his uh, closer contemporary. He says, and that's Vladimir Lenin. He said something even worse. He says that, and he quoted, he said, religion or faith in this unseen God is like a venereal disease. He says, it's like a disease. There's faith in an unseen God. It's, these people are diseased. Their minds are polluted. And as I continued to drive, something came to me. I said, they started a revolution in about 1914, 12 through 24. They started a great revolution. But there's something about those two men. They're both dead. And their revolution is dead. And they are still dead. But the God... I wish I had somebody. The unseen God is... Somebody say still alive. Still alive. The psalmist said the word of the Lord are pure words. Like silver tried in the furnace of the earth. The word of the Lord are... Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God, praise God. Thank God for the many blessings that these men have unfold. I know if you release them, you know, you know like wild horses, you try to tame them? It's really hard. But I'm thankful to God because the main speaker is coming and he's going to bless this house tremendously. I'm going to have the usher to come forward. I'm going to ask the ushers to come forward. Now I'm going to see him pass me again if they're going to be as nice to me as they were to you. Pass me again will be bringing the speaker on. So I'm relieving him of his duty to collect. So I'm, I'm asking you for a special offering, which we've been doing all week. And... He started off with uh, an incredible um, amount, which we're blessed to have. We have an e-given information that's about to go up to those of you that are online. Now, I don't normally want people to use their devices in the house of God, with the exception of reading the scripture, or if you're given to the house of the Lord. I don't want you to be texting and emailing if you can't take, put that down for two hours or three hours, then you could stay at home. No, seriously. When you think about it, you should, why would you be texting? We're supposed to be focusing on the creator. So you could e-transfer or even through PayPal, or you could write us uh, the old-fashioned way and uh, with your check. So if you do have your phone or your devices, you can most certainly go ahead and e-transfer uh, with a note, if you wish, uh, regarding would it be an elevated project or just an offering unto the Lord. But those of you that are in my presence and would like to come up to these ushers, we're encouraging you to do that uh, for a special offering. So we'll start off like this. The persons who have an $100, you may make your way up first now without any... Um, one. I'm not going to be too long. 
It's now one o'clock. Um, I'm giving Pastor McGann the mic at 10 after, whether I, you come up or not. So uh, please, Sister Brooks, say you're going to be nicer than me. Prove her right. Everybody have a $100, jump up and bring it $100 now. One. One. I'm stuck in one. 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 Oh, two. Three. Three. Four. E transfer does happen. Four. When you do e transfer, just put your hand up. Each four. Five. E transfer does happen. Six. Six. When you do an e transfer, hands up. Seven. E transfer just went two again. Seven. Eight. Seven. When, I mean, eight. Right there. E transfer. Let me see if I put your hand up. Eight. Or in the chat, they will let me know. 800 just went into uh, the uh, basket. Special offering. 800. Is there another? Nine. E-transfer just happened. Nine. Ten. E-transfer just happened. Are you scratching your head down there or are you putting your hand up? No, no, but her hand, but she did like this. I just want to verify. Is that a scratch? Okay. It's, it's not a deposit. It's a scratch. Okay, so we have uh, uh, 11. So uh, Anders went up for e-transfer. 12. Okay, so 12. So um, the expert just remind me to let you know everything you give to 13 is charitable donation. Guarantee you get your receipt. Um, that's is remind me of that. So those of you who are viewing online, you want to send a check for twenty thousand, forty thousand, hundred thousand. We will absolutely give you your charitable organization to write down your your profit, so you don't have to pay too much taxes. You uh, corporation that are listening, the sister that's talking about you promote her. You can promote your business more by donating to the house of God. So is there is there e transfer behind me? No. It's on the screen. Thirteen hundred. 14, 15, 15, so what is it? What's 15? I don't see the hand. I thought, another thousand, so 15, that's 25, 25. That little kid, 100 bucks? Oh my goodness, I, I shall lead him. 26. $2,600, 27 27 28 Pastor Megan, I know I won't catch you. You're at 14000 I'm at just 2800 bucks. But Sister Brooks, they're supposed to be nicer to me. <laughs> 20, did I say 29? 28, 28. Uh, E-transfer hands up. You're scratching your nose, brother, right? That's, okay, they're scratching his nose. Okay, it's itching. I, okay, just give me, because um, uh, I only have five more minutes. Okay, just give me two more, and you make it 3,000? Okay, that's 29. One more then? 3,000? I mean, he did not give him 3,000, he's making it three. His wife would take his head off. <laughs> you what? And he's going to say, watch the blessing come in by the end of the day. Okay. So she, that's 31, right? 31. 31. Sister Brooks is, is um, giving me, um, okay, all of you really want to give 100, but you're stuck at 50. Stand up, just come on with it. Please come. Please come with your 50. Just give yourself a, a bet your blood circulate. $50. One, two, please come. Three, come on. Everybody, anyone. Okay, another one does e-transfer four. Keep going. The young people do e-transfer five. Another one is e-transfer six. Come on. Six, six, seven. Seven. I'm going to stop at seven. Eight, I'm going to stop at 15. Eight, nine, nine. Let's put your hand up with your e-transfer. Nine, ten, five more. 
Yes, all elevator project. Okay, 11, 10, 11, 5, 12. This is elevator project is coming on your tax receipt. Our treasurer is on the ball. She doesn't miss a beat. 13, 13, two more. E-transfer or physically 13, two more. Two more. Okay, we're good here. 14, 15. Okay, I'm, I'm a man of my word. Me done. Everyone stand up. Praise team, come on up. I honestly believe once we tell the folks certain things, we should, we should honor it. You know what I mean? We should honor it. I said I'm giving you the mic at 10 after. Whatever you do before, you're going to call the pastor, of course. But uh, I want you to know we should stick to our word, especially from here. Especially from right here. Yeah, I squeeze five more and disobey. You know what I mean? Um, Usher, please pray. Amen. Follow the direction of the usher who will lead you out of your seat. He said, my right hand, please sit. At my right hand, please sit. Thank you. God bless you. I remember the day. I remember the hour. Fill my soul with the Holy Ghost power. I wish you were there when I came through. Church was on fire with the Holy Ghost. Church was on fire with the Holy Ghost too. I was sick, couldn't get well. Heal my body now. I can tell, I can depend. I can depend. I
what you put off till tomorrow, what you should do today, let the Savior rest your soul right now. Bless your soul right now. Don't you put off till tomorrow. What you can do today, let the Savior bless your soul right now. and the order in this house. I admire the precision of the order in this house. You may be sitting to Pastor Junior Brown. We want to thank God for you and all the saints. So glad to be here at this time from the saints in Medivale East. We want to thank God for you. Amen. Sister Caroline that came along, Deacon Wright and Sister Wright. God has been good to us. Yeah. We enjoy the presence of the Lord. I want to say just before we introduce the speaker this morning, last night somebody met me in the hallway and he was overjoyed. He was expressing how appreciative uh, uh, he has been for the work done by Pastor Brown. He sent his daughter to this University of Windows to study law. He said, Pastor McGann, this church kept her grounded and kept her from strain. She was able to complete her law degree, passed her bar exam, went back in Toronto, and now is working with a judge at the Supreme Court. Yeah. Pastor Brown, God bless you, sir. I said, God bless you. When none of us would go, you went and answered the call. You have done a job more than the government of Canada who attempts to keep treat people straight and narrow. They got, if I told folks all the time, if they will give us the money to do the job of social activities, we will do a better job. We will not cause them to smoke marijuana. We will not give them money to do the drugs or negros, but we'll teach them about the way of the Lord. And when the way of the Lord is taught, they'll be better citizens of this country. It's my pleasure and privilege. To present to you a man of God who come to minister to you, please stand and receive Dr. Colin Cawley in the name of the Lord. God bless you, Dr. Cawley. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you have your Bibles with you. To the 
Gospel of Isaiah chapter 55. And we will be reading verses 10 through 13 of this gospel. Praise God. The mighty God is Jesus. The Prince of Peace is he. The everlasting Father. The King eternally. The wonderful in wisdom. By whom all things were made. The fullness of the Godhead. In Jesus is displayed. And by now you know I love the ness of God. <laughs> Praise God. Because no other God has the nestness like our God. No other God has the awesomeness and the terribleness and the goodness and the greatness and the loving kindness. And the completeness and the holiness and the righteousness. Like our God. Ask Evangelist Brooks, she'll tell you about him. Let's read together. Amen. The Gospel of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 10 through 13. And we will. Echo that together. Let's read together. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth the bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the things whereto I send it. For he shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the fields shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come forth fir tree. And instead of briar shall come out the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name. For an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Praise God. Amen. So there is a reverse. Amen. So instead of thorn, fir tree. Instead of briar. Amen. The myrtle tree. It shall be to the Lord for a name. Praise God. Somebody say a name, a name. Praise God. Praise God. Just shout a glory and uh, take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Amen, amen. Amen. Certainly to our host pastor today. Amen. None other than. Pastor Anthony Brown and his dear wife. Come on, give a lot of thanks for, for him in the name of the Lord. Praise God. God is good. And, and to all the workers and ministers at Rafa, God bless you. Amen. Come on, give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks. They're doing a great work. Amen. Certainly to Apostle Henry. God bless you, sir. God bless you and the saints. Amen. To Pastor McGann, give the Lord thanks. Give the Lord thanks. 
Amen. And of course, to Pastor Brown, MT in Pemmican, of all the ministerial uh, leadership there, and to all the saints, amen, from Pemmican eldership that is there, amen. And all the saints that journey, we give God thanks. And to all those that are visiting with us, those on the virtual platform, we also salute you and greet you in this powerful, glorious name, the name of Jesus. And amen to our praise team. Amen. Did a fine job. Praise God. Amen to, to our musicians. Mighty God. God is God is good. Praise God. And we honor everyone in this powerful name. The name of Jesus. Your theme is dealing with the surety of God's word. Amen. And so we are exposed to the incarnate word. We are exposed to the written word. We are exposed to the living word. And we are exposed to the incorruptible word. And we are exposed to the spoken word. Praise God. And so, I want to use for a subject today, and I'm going to lay it straight today, that our apostolic Christianity is on trial. We are gone to the courts. Sister Claudine, I'm going to need your help in the courtroom because I'm going into the courtroom today. Praise God. Before apostolic Christianity emerged, came forth, was birth. Amen. Judaism was one of the prominent practicing religious order of the day. The intent of God was that the Jews would be the means by which God would show to the world that there is a living God. They were not chosen because they were better than. They were not chosen because they were, amen, great. They were a small nation. As a matter of fact, in the mind and in the thought of God, when our God needs a nation, he uses one man. That's the power of our God. When God wants to send a revelation to a universe, he just raised up an Ezekiel. When God wants to send wisdom over the entire known world, he just raised up a Solomon. And so God raised up an Abraham to to send and to relieve a man to show the world that there is a God. And so in Judaism, there is known as the 13 principles of faith. Uh, and the first principle of faith in Judaism, El Grant, is that you must confess the belief and declaration in one God. That he is incorporeal, he is not flesh and blood, amen, but he is actively in the lives of humanity. You can't touch him. But you can see the manifestation of that God. And so Israel declare that. As a matter of fact, before they die, that's one of their parting statements. Oh Lord, I feel Deacon Brooks now. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Ehad. Every Jew must declare that at death as their departing statement. Hallelujah. And so, beloved, if you happen to ever go into a courtroom, 
sitting in the courtroom for a trial. Amen. We are in there and uh, the attendant will say, all rise. And uh, we all rise. And uh, a certain man or woman dressed in black will come in and sit at his station. Then we are allowed now to sit. That man, a woman, is called the judge. It is his court. There is a courthouse beside us at Pemmican. And I sat in there and this young man walked up after his name is called. And of course, he, you know, he walked up like one of those pretty boys. And, he and the judge says, take your hands out your pocket in my court. And simply he better do. Amen. Now the judge will open the court. By asking most likely the prosecuting lawyer to present his case. Praise God. And if it is a case of jury, I'm going somewhere, listen to it. Then the jury is already selected for the course. My jury tonight, today is. Mercy, grace, truth, and justice are the members of the jury. Hallelujah. They will openly give a brief summary of what the case is about. And sometimes they're kind enough to recognize the jury amen and all of that are very skillfully and words are very meticulously selected uh, because the defending lawyer for the accused his intent always is to strike a doubt whether it is true or not, if he can raise a question of a doubt. Amen. And that he's paid to do that. And once there is any semblance or resemblance of doubt, amen, then there, that case is almost won. Praise God. And now, beloved, there, there are two kinds of evidences that has to be presented in a court. One is called direct evidence, and the other is circumstantial evidence. Can I get a witness? Direct evidence is someone that has first-hand knowledge of For example, if, if I am outside in the rain, I can affirm directly that it is raining. Okay, amen. Circumstantial evidence is different. I am standing at the door of this building, looking out. And everybody who comes in the building have a wet umbrella wet shoes wet clothes amen then I can assess that as evidence that it is raining outside can I get a witness in the house praise God shout a glory in that one now we are here to prove that God is alive 
and well. He is a living God. But beloved, I cannot examine God directly. Because he's not a subject to a physical examination. Praise to God. But then there are evidences that we can use to present to the court that God is alive. David said, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament show it his handiwork. Oh, hallelujah. Shout a glory in that one. Oh, God. And so now, beloved, the court is in session. Amen. I call to the stand our first witness. Oh, Lord. And his name is Adam. Glory be to God. Shout a glory. Adam, do you affirm that you will speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Adam says, I will speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Be seated, Adam. Oh, Lord, for the record, will you please state your name and your occupation to this court? Oh, Lord. Adam says, my name is Adam. I was the gardener in the Garden of Eden. Oh, hallelujah. The next question is, have you ever met this being that they call God? Hallelujah. Adam says, yes. For while I was in the garden, Every evening at the cool of the day comes a voice that says, Adam, oh Lord, I need you. And he and I used to go for walks in the Garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Adam, can you describe this God? What does he look like? Adam says, when he shows up, he shows up as a cloud of light. Good Lord. And everywhere we went, the animals responded to him. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say light. That's why Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Adam says he was the one that asked me to name the animals and I named them and he says yes you are right oh hallelujah Adam says yes for many times and years we walked in the garden and we communicate I can hear his voice our God he does not have a shape like me but his light moves with me as we walk down the corridors in the garden and as we communicate he instructed me and he told me Adam of all the trees in the garden you may eat of everyone except this particular tree Adam now uh, the court is in session and listed amen to find out is there really a God Adam said he was the one that called the fishes in the sea he was the one that made the animals that were in the garden Adam said 
that he was the one that confirmed the names that I gave to the animal. Thank you, sir. You may go down. And the lawyer said, the next witness will be Abraham. Good law. And then Abraham came up to the stand, made his affirmation. And the lawyer said, for the records, will you tell me your name and your occupation? And Abraham said, my name is Abraham, my God, and my occupation is, I work in the shop of my father, I sold idols out of my shop, then the lawyer said, can you tell me if you have ever met a God, can you describe him, Abraham? Said, I met him and I know him. Oh, hallelujah! Come on, because one day while I work in the shop, I was alone and I heard a voice that spoke to me. And the voice said, Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house into a land that I will show thee and I will make thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessed and I will bless them that bless thee and I will curse them that curse thee and in thy shall all the family of the earth be blessed. Then the lawyer said, Sir, did that ever happen? Oh, Lord. Then I heard Abraham say, Sir, surely. He said, Look in the United States. Who holds the monetary fund? You gotta look in Europe. Who controls the finance? Look in Canada. Who controls the finance? It's my seed. It's my progenitor that controls the financial. Amen. Of every world. Shout a glory. Hallelujah. And Abraham said, I was in a vision. Oh Lord, and the God told me, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Come on, and I could not understand because I never had a child. And the Lord said, Come on out here, Abraham, look up in the heavens. And Abraham said, I see stars. And the Lord said, count them if you can. And Abraham said, one, two, three. And he was confused. And the Lord said, your seed shall be like the sand of the seashore. And look at me now. Abraham says, look at Israel. In 1948, we became a nation and we are still multiplying for the blessing for whatever God said it shall come to pass do I have a witness in the house come on I declare that some of you have a prophecy over your head come on there is a declaration over your head there is a prophecy and all you need to do is to wait for it shall come to pass 
shout, yeah, it shall come to pass. If you believe it, say, yeah. Tell your neighbor, my prophecy will come to pass. That's why I'm shouting right now. Shout a glory. Shout a hallelujah in this house. That's how your prophecy will come to pass when you open up your mouth and declare it. Mary got a word from the angel. Mary could not believe the word. But when the angel upgraded Mary, Mary opened her mouth and said, let it be according to thy word. Somebody had to open up your mouth and declare in this house, there is a prophecy over my life and I shall walk Oh Lord, shout a glory, shout a glory, hallelujah. Abraham, you may take your seat. The next witness we will call to the stand is Jacob, hallelujah. Oh Lord, for the records, will you declare your name? And your occupation. Oh God Jacob says. My name is Jacob. The son of Isaac. And I dwell in tents. Hallelujah. Will you tell the court. If you have ever seen the beam. Call God. And Jacob said. Jacob could not sit down in the seat. He jumped up and he said yes. I wrestled with him for a whole night. Good Lord. He messed up my ankle and my hip. Oh Lord. But he blessed me before. Hallelujah. So I'm limping in the court. The limp that I walk up to the stand with was what God gave me. But he blessed me with a blessing. Somebody shout glory. For out of me came 12 tribes. Oh, hallelujah. Shout a glory. Shout a glory. Shout a hallelujah. Somebody say, I have a blessing. Oh, Lord. You can't see, but I feel it. Shout, yeah. Shout, yeah. I got to run on. You may take your seat, Jacob. The last witness that we call today is Isaiah. Shout a glory. Oh, Lord. He walked up to the stand and he says, I will speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And then the cross examiner said, Oh God, for the record of the court, will you state your name and occupation? And Isaiah said, My name is Isaiah, son of Amos, and I am a prophet which I saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of King Uzziah, King Jotham, King Ahaz, and King. Hezekiah, which were kings in Judah. Can you tell the court if you have ever seen a beam called God? Isaiah said, yes. I saw him. I was grieving the death of King Uzziah. And I ran to church. I ran to church to get some relief from my burden and when I opened the door to step in the sanctuary I saw him sitting on a throne and lifted up and his strength filled the house 
and I saw some ministering angel that ministered to the throne they had six wings with two they cover their eyes with two they cover their feet and with two they did fly and why they were flying they said one to the other holy holy the whole Lord the whole Lord the whole sir, the whole winds is full of his glory Katalabohoshan Shandarabohosa and Isaiah said, Why they echoed? Why they say holy? Somebody say holy. Look at somebody and say holy. And when somebody say holy to you, respond and say holy. Look at somebody and say holy. The whole earth. The whole earth. Maya Shibo Manda Bokusaya Shendorobo Isaiah says, When they echo their voice, the doorposts move at the voice. My God, hallelujah! Power. Somebody say power. Then he said, I cried out and said, I am undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King. The Lord of hosts. Mine eyes have seen the King. Shandabuhus. Hallelujah. Come on, Isaac. Tell us, tell the court more about this God. Kutalabahush. The court. The, the judge put his pen down. Every eye is focused on the weakness. Oh Lord, can I get a witness? Can I get a hallelujah? Isaiah says, Well, he tell me to tell you, he's coming to earth. Oh Lord, but he cannot come in the fullness and splendor of his essence. Oh Lord. So he said, unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Father, come on, and of his government and his kingdom, no end, hallelujah, no time restriction, no time limitation, for my kingdom is not of time, but of eternity, do I have a weakness in here, tell us some more about this God I Isaiah, and I heard Isaiah said, Isaiah said, well, he told me to tell this court, the spirit of the law is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel, the tidings to the me, 
week to have set the liberty to bind up broken hearted and to set at liberty them that are captive and to open prison doors to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the law and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that more and then Isaiah let me remind you he was the one that walked into Nazareth on the Sabbath day and walked in the synagogue and sat at the back and the chief amen attendant asked him will you come and read the morning's lesson come on and Jesus being God in the flesh come on God was in Christ reconciling the world not unto the father but unto himself that means daddy is in him shout a glory shout a hallelujah and Jesus walked up then they all came up to the lectern and the attendant who went to where the scroll was opened the door and God guided the hand of the attendant that he picked up the book of Isaiah and not Jeremiah and not Ezekiel but he pulled out Isaiah handed it to Jesus Jesus rolled out the scroll look for chapter 61 and say the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor to bind a broken heart to set at liberty them that are captive and to preach the acceptable year of the law and he rolled up the scroll handed it back to the attendant and all eyes was fixed on him are you going to give us some explanation are you going to give us an exegesis of the text our Lord and all but Jesus just walked out before them and said there is no need for an exegesis I am the text good law shout the glory I am the text this day this moment is the scripture fulfill in your ear I am the text I am the walking text I am anointed I am anointed I am anointed to preach I am the incarnate word I am the incorruptible word. I am the written word. I am the spoken word. I am the living word. So when I say live, you must live. God said live. Manda bohosha, kondo la bohosha. No, manda raba husata, ketoro bohosha. It is this Isaiah now. Atala bohosha. It is this Isaiah. Manda Bohosha. That gives us the text. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and does not return until it water the earth. 
cannot return. It cannot stop midway in the heavens and go back up to the storeroom. It must come down. Because if I speak it, if I tell the rain, go down to earth, the rain has to obey me. So if I say, dry up cancer, Makuta Ayaboho Shanda. Oh Lord. Somebody say dry up, dry up. If I say dry up fibroids. Somebody say fibroids. Dry up. No shaba. Mando robo kutasai. Lebo kutas. Hear me, beloved. If God says, I speak to rain, and rain don't have ears, and I speak to snow, and snow don't have no ear, and if I say rain, go down, water the earth. Snow go down into the prairies and, and water the soil so that the wheat will come. And the rain and the snow cannot go back until it water the earth. So that bread come forth for the eater. I am saying to tumor right now. I just need two persons beside me. I'm saying to tumor right now. Dry up. No surgery. Manda bohusa, ketoro bohusa, usha bohusa, ayabahushe toro bosa. Hallelujah! Come on, just say dry up in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout a glory, shout a hallelujah. I got my God. Hallelujah. I'm moving into another zone. Cover me there. Evangelist, come on. Can I get a witness? Come on, shout a glow. He said, that may, may be seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Then the Lord said, so shall my word. Somebody said, my word. My word, which goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. Means it cannot return without not accomplishing what I have said it to. Abraham, Sarah, thy wife, 80 years old, shall have a son. Lord have mercy. Do I have some Sarahs in here? Do I have some Sarahs in here? Doctor, right you are. Doctor, give you the bad report. Amen. But Jesus, God is saying, My word that cometh out of my mouth shall not return unaccomplished. It shall accomplish. Oh, hallelujah. 
good Lord, or maybe you laugh like Sarah. Sarah said, oh no. But Abraham, good Lord, the Bible said, he staggered not at the promise of God. Oh Lord, do I have some faith believers in here? Come on. Hallelujah. For faith is a force. And faith is the only force that can penetrate time and walk through time and walk into eternity. For beloved, all your healing is in eternity waiting. Come on. Let me put it this way. So you go to the doctor and he writes you a prescription and you take the prescription to the pharmacist and you give the pharmacist the prescription and he can interpret it. It's some funny writing. Oh, doctors write strange. Especially those from modern college. They can't write at all. Can I get a witness? And then he fills the prescription. But when you have faith, oh Lord, faith becomes the pharmacist that walks into eternity, goes into the chest of healing, pull out your healing, walk back into time, and give it to you. Can I get a witness? Shout a glory. Faith is not some abstract thinking. It, it is a force. By faith they subdue kingdoms. By faith they brought the, the armies. Come on, it's a force. You release that force. You take God's word and God's word say, Amen, you are healed. Come on. Open your mouth and say, I am healed. Touch your body where the his sickness is and declare it in the atmosphere. I am here. Shout it loud and long. I am here. Shout a glory. Shout a glory. Shout a glory. And if you have a bad boss at work giving you trouble, just call his name and say the blood of Jesus. Come on. Shout the glory. Call his name and say the blood. I am in control of this company. I wish I had some believers in here. You are in control of your company. Not your boss. Not your exec. You. When you walk in, you walk in with, with an atmosphere. Daniel! Daniel! Captive! Daniel! Daniel! You will be the chief of all governors. Never matriculated from the University of Babylon. Never went to high school. Never went to prep school. Over 120 provinces. Daniel. Just a praying man. Joseph. Last night he was in prison. Last night he was in fetters. Last night he was in chains. Last night he sleep on rocks. Last night he smells. But today. Royal robe. Chariot. He ride beside the king. Next in command. Overnight. Oh Lord. Let me shout that again. Overnight. Touch your neighbor and say. Your blessing. Is coming. Overnight. Overnight. 
Somebody at the back shout overnight. My blessing is coming overnight. Come on. Shout a glory. It's not a package from Amazon. It's not a package from FedEx. It's not a package from UPS. It's coming from heaven. Somebody shout heaven. Overnight. Katala Bohosha. Shanda Bohosha. Shout a glory, somebody. Somebody. It shall not return. Mm. I'm sensing some, some disease. Disease is really this ease. So God is going to relieve you of the this ease. And leave you with ease. He's going to remove the this. And leave you with the ease. Do I have a believer in this house? Come on. Sister Ken. Sister Ken. Get up. Get up. Get up. Walk up here. And walk down there. That's all you have to do. In this atmosphere. We don't have to lay hands. Mandaboho shata. Hey, hey. Shibo kutasaya. Do I have a witness in the heart? Do I have a hallelujah in the heart? Do I have a glow in the heart? Shout a glow. Shout a glow. Shout a glow. Good Lord. Sister Joel, come here. My God, what now? The atmosphere is charred. My word cannot return unto me void. It must, it must, it must come. God said it must come. Oh God, shout a glory. Shout a glory. Come on up here. Walk up here, Sister Joel. If I just just touch her. Oh God, you didn't have to speak a word, just touch Oh God, somebody. Come on, shout a glory, shout a glory. If this God, if this God could talk to a whale and tell the whale, God is watching Jonah running. God watched Jonah buy his ticket. God said nothing to Jonah. And God watched Jonah walking down to the ship. And God watched Jonah bid everybody goodbye and went down to the bottom of the ship and pull over his blanket. Good Lord. Cover his head. Lie down in a corner where nobody could see. And God said, Jonah, day and night is both alike to me. And God just looked down in the ocean and said, Whale. And the whale said, Yes, Lord. Because the whale know the voice. Because that's the voice that brought it into existence. That's why God could talk to storm and say, Peace be still. And the storm prostrate and bow. Because the storm knows his voice. God said, Whale. Amen. Go down to that ship. And God said, The ship is that number. And be on the right side at such a time. And the Lord said, By the way, fish, you are carrying a parcel. It is not a meal. Don't eat it. You are just the carrier. Good Lord. Shout a glory. And the fish said, Yeah, Lord. I thought it was a me. But God said, No, it's not a me. You are my UPS for one hour, three days, and three nights. Good Lord. And, and right when the mariner threw Jonah overboard, the fish was positioned at the right place with his mouth open. 
and, and the swallowed Jonah. Beloved, then God turned the stomach of the way into a womb. Good Lord. Because he could not survive in a stomach where the acidic substance is. So God transferred the stomach into a womb. So Jonah was in the womb of the whale. Having three days and three nights of prayer meeting. Good Lord. So the whale couldn't eat also. The whale was also unfasted. So the whale wanted to release what was in his womb. So he can start eating again. Come on. And after three days and three nights. God says spit him out. Release him. Give birth. And the way. And release. Show. Shoot him out and dry land. And see how young Jonah was. It used to be three days journey. To go to Nineveh. He did it in less than a day. Overnight. He became strong. And all Jonah had to say. Yet. Yet. In 40 days. And Nineveh. Let me deal with it. All that I said was introduction. My word. Somebody said my word. That good out of my mouth. Shall not return. I speak to some. Anxious people. In this house. Who had a prophecy. For the last four years. And you have not seen it materialize. But. It is coming. Though the vision tarry. Wait for it. Oh God. Come on touch your neighbor and say wait, wait, wait. It's on its way. For they that wait upon the Lord. He shall renew their strength. Come on, shout a glow. Shout it loud and low. Say, my healing is coming. My deliverance is on its way. But the thing that we need to do, beloved, is not to sit down and complain and mourn. But you are to praise him that you believe the prophecy over your life. Come on. Abraham. The Bible said staggered not at the promise of God. Oh, hallelujah. He knows how old Sarah is. He knew how old he is. But the Bible said he believed God that a resurrection can take place in the body of Sarah. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care, beloved. I heard the preacher said last night, is there anything too hard for the Lord to do? Can God not heal a cancer? Can God not give you a house? Come on, beloved. Can I get a witness in the house? Shout it loud and long. Yes, he can. Open your mouth and declare it in the atmosphere. God can and God will shout. Hallelujah. Shout it loud and long. Oh, Lord. 
then the Lord says so shall my word be that going out of my mouth the Lord has released a word come on a word over your life a word in your life come on and the Lord said no demon and no hexes no witch and no warlock can stop my word from being accomplished oh hallelujah come on I know there are some demonic opposition I know there are some forces that fights against the church I know there are some demonic provocation I know there are some demonic inhibition that is fighting against the church but may I remind you that the Lord Jesus said the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church shall and the Bible said greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and the greater in you is the Lord Jesus Christ and the greater in the world is the devil and the devil know that there is one God and he's trembling right now so we got the greater force on the inside of you come on let's raise up our faith come on I the writer said I trust in God I know he cares for me and mountain top are across the stormy seas though billows roll he keeps my soul my heavenly father he watches over me come on the Lord said the word is released come on all you need to do is to believe it come on somebody shout I believe God I believe God ask what it will and it shall be done. trust and obey there is no other way I believe do I have some believer in this house there are some of you right now the word has made you a believer the singing has made you a believer open your mouth and declare I am a believer I trust in God I am a believer receive the Holy Ghost I am a believer get the renewing of the Holy Ghost I am a believer for these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall speak with new tongues where is the tongue open your mouth open your mouth shout 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 Hosea. open your mouth open your mouth the fire is here open your mouth the fire is here open your mouth the fire is here fire fire shall go shall fire 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 Fire, 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 la patata te toto mando kuta remondo kutas la te to seto 
Rakuta Kata, Ramakata, Yeketo Nomo, Remondo Kuta, Lakuta, Laketo Toto, Remondo Kuta Shaya, Yes, 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 Somebody shout fire, let Zion shout fire, shout fire, shout fire. Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Landa boho shai, kendo robo ho sata ya baho, yamanda keto robo ho sha, shendo robo ho sata ya baho, ramanda keto robo ho sha, kendo robo ho sata ya baho. Kendo robo husa, shendo robo husa. Somebody shout fire! Let the church shout fire! Touch your neighbor and say fire! Touch somebody and say fire! Touch somebody and say fire! Ay 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 ay. Ay 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 aboshata keto robo husha shanda robo husha look at somebody behind you and say fire professor fire anda la bahuse kendo robo husha shanda robo husha shanda robo husha Katayabo Hosaya, Sheto Robo Hosatayaba, Manda Raba Kutasa, Katarabo Hosatayaba Hos, Sheto Robo Hosaya, Shanda Rabo Hosa, somebody shout fire. Look at your seat and say, and touch your seat and say, fire. Sit on the fire now. Fire. Fire. Fire! 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 Somebody shout! Fire! 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 Andara boho shaya, kendo robo ho shaya, shendo robo ho sa. Somebody shout the glory! Somebody shout the glory! Somebody shout the glory. Keto lo mo mo no bosa. Aya baba la kosa. Sheto kuta ramanda kendo eketo su. Ata eko ramakatito yeketo no mo eketo to to sata yakuta ata neto to to neta to sheko to neku. Somebody shout fire! Somebody shout fire! Shout fire! I am here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here! Shout fire! Landa baba bako sata, manda kuta sata ya boko. Eketo robo husa taya, nando kundo robo husa, yeketo robo husa, eketo robo husa. Shout! Ushaya, eketo robo husa, landa bo husa, shendo mando kundo, kindo romondo, sendo sataya bos, kito robo husa. Shout the glory! Shout the glory! Shout the glory! Shout the glory! Fire! 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 Somebody shout fire! Somebody shout fire! Somebody shout fire! 
Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire. Fire. Fire moosh. Nekosh. Kapusa. Mato. Noko. Maya kutash. Ekoto. Yeah, yeah, Somebody say, somebody show fire. Somebody show fire. 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 Somebody just get the Holy Ghost over there. We got somebody feel over there. Let's sigh and shout. Somebody got the Holy Ghost. Shout here. Shout here. Shout here. Shout here. Holy Ghost section. Holy Ghost section. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Renew me. Renew me. Re Keto robo hosha. Shata. Makuta shata. Shata laba. Ye keto robo hosha. Laba kuta shata. Shata yaba hosha. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. My Shatayo Shanda Bohosa Shetoro Bohosa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody have a back pain. Press your hand at your back. And say, I am here. Declare it in the atmosphere one more time. I am here. Clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Tell the Lord thank you. Shiba. Oh, Shaba. Mando Shikotosa. Raketo Shataya. Utakata Matu
Lord. Where's Sister Weir? Evangelist Weir. Bring her, bring her. Ha, 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 ha. Somebody say yeah. Zion say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. ay, 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 ay. Catalabos, Shetorabos, Ayabosha, Ayabahushata, Ayababa Cosata, Uta Casse. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh.
Praise God. One sec. Praise God. I want you to turn around to somebody. Look at them. Everybody turn to somebody. Turn to somebody. There's no COVID in here. No COVID can come in here. Hold their hands and look them in the face. And say after me. God says to tell you my word sent for you cannot return void it must accomplish say it again it must accomplish oh god can somebody receive it yeah oh god come on tell them your healing is right here your promotion is right here your deliverance is right here shout a glory tell them your house is right here your car your finance increase is here oh shaba husa shata ya baba 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 Oto sheto robo husa. Yeah. Hallelujah. And tell them again. Your enemies are your elevators to your next level. Shout for joy. Shout for joy. Shout for joy. Shout for joy. Shataya Baba ba Nendo Boko to Shataya Baba Kendo Robo Hu Shataya Bande Keto Robo Hu Saya Yeah 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 My Liga Mighty God. Evangelist Turner, put the baby down. Walk up here with power. Shabahusa. Shanda. Shetorobohusa. Shatayabohoshan. Shekoto Shaba. Pass him again. Rest your hand and lay hands on him. Shataya Bohosha. Power. 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 Let the church say power. Shout power. Shout power. Shout power. Power. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Shout a glory. Zion shout a glory. Zion shout a glory. Oh, Shabahusa. Shout a glory. Look at somebody and say glory. Look at the next person and say glory. Katabohosa, Shataya Bohosa. Somebody say glory. Somebody shout glory. Brother Mike. I know you are the master organist and we love you. Take this. Come back. Maya! Whoosh! You're going to carry this. The next time, I'm inviting you to Pemican to come and preach. Fire! Shut up! Somebody say glory. Somebody say glory. Ataya mm. Bohosha. Turn to your neighbor and say, fire. Come on, tell, tell two persons, look them in the face and say, fire. Ooh, Shia. Ooh, Shataya Bahu. Manda Rebosha. Maya, Usha. Ooh, Shataya Bahu. Ketoro Bohusha. Somebody to be baptized. Hallelujah. Somebody for baptism. 
Somebody shout your glory in here. Somebody got the Holy Ghost. Somebody for baptism. Where, 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 where is the church rejoicing with the angels? Where is the church rejoicing with the angels? Where is the church rejoicing with the angels? Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Somebody is getting a renewing right now. Somebody. Woo! Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Shaya Bahus Kata Shebo Lakutasa. Release yourself. Somebody shout, Release. Yes. Yeah, tell him thanks. Shout a glory. Somebody shout a glory at the back. Somebody shout a glory. Somebody shout a glory. Somebody shout a glory. Mighty God. Thank God. Bishop, the, the anointing that is in this house. If they call the fire department, as they walk through the door and police, they're going to start speaking tongues. You can't walk into glory and remain the same. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah. Come on, Elder. Come on, Elder. Elder Sean there. He's a young man. Pray, pray. Shataya Bahushi.
Yeah, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. There, there is, just before, there is a power of healing in this house. And whatever your sickness is, I want you to walk out of your seat and come up here. Just, just walk up here. God, God is going to heal you. Just come, just come. Stand up here. Come, come. I'm doing the call. Ooh, just two more times. Just line up right across there. Right across. Uh, stand beside her. Just stand. Just position them for me, Ella Newby. Just position Ella Grant. Just position them. Just position them. Just position. Ooh, ooh, shot. Ah, yeah, bahushe. Hallelujah. Pastor Brown, Pastor McGann, come, come with the olive oil. Olive oil, olive oil. Yeah, come, come, come. We're just going to pray. Amen. Pray for them. Amen. Come, come, Pastor Brown. Lay hands on all these sicknesses. Come, Apostle. Sicknesses, disease, I'm gonna lay hand, disease, cast it out in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come, Evangelist, we are, we need you. Hold that over here. Sicknesses, disease, we're casting it out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
what shall I more say then? Lord has spoken. The Lord has spoken. I said the Lord has spoken. Let every soul be subject to the power and the presence of God. Thank God this morning for the his anointing that he has anointed his servant to minister to us the words of the Lord. For the words of the Lord are what the word of the Lord are. Come on, let the word of the Lord are. The word of the Lord are pure words. We bless the Lord this morning for anointing his servant to minister to us the words of the Lord. Praise God. It shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory you must surely find. It is the water way. It is the light and way. Baptized in Jesus' name. Young old, repent of all your sins. For the light has come. For the evening tide has come. The fact that God and Christ are one. We have in baptism, sir. Not now. Thank the Lord this morning. We pray that God will strengthen his servant. Renew his strength. That he will mount up with wings like eagle. Amen. Run and not be weary. And walk on that feet. Praise the Lord. Come on, people. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. Let's stand everywhere you are in the sanctuary. Let's stand everywhere we are. God has spoken to his servant to minister to us in every way possible that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished. God has sent his word to his servant this morning. And all we can say is, hey, what? Amen what? Come on. Amen. amen. And amen. Come on, open your mouth and say amen. amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. God works in time. And we have to operate in time. I bless Dr. Cawley. Are you going to sing? You going to sing? They're going to sing. I feel the presence of the Lord. We've been here for almost four hours. And I know you're not hungry yet. I know we the, the physical, but four hours, 11 o'clock is 3 o'clock. Something must have held you here. It's the presence and the power of Almighty God. Oh, we worship. Oh, come on, lift up our hand. We, we're done. Are we stopping? We're not done. We're just stopping for now. As we close this portion, amen, to receive some physical renourishment. Let's continue to pray for Dr. Cawley. And God renew his strength to speak for hours requires a lot of strength. Thank God for him. Thank God for him. Come on, thank God for him. Thank God for him. Amen. Oh, I just feel the presence of the Lord. Something beautiful. Something good. Lord Jesus. Praise God. 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 
Akatola Masanda Masita Masanda. Oh, I feel the brush of heaven. The presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost, Akatama, Atoma Makata, Ito, Akoto Shota, Ilo Makata, Akoto, Ashata, Ito Mamakata, Yato Mamakata Nama, Atosha, Atanama Katola Mashito, Atanama Katola Mashito, Eto Mashata Mama Sata, Out of your belly. Out of your belly, oh, the presence of the Lord is in this place. And I, I can feel His mighty power. Oh, I need His grace. Oh, I, I can feel. The brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Oh, it's surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Oh, surely, surely the presence. Hallelujah! I can feel His mighty power and His grace. I can feel, I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on His face. Oh, Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace. Oh, I can feel the brush of angel waves I see glory on his face oh surely the presence of the Lord is in his place one more time surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace. And His grace. I can feel, I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see God. going to do one thing one thing before we go before we stop one thing we're going to do sister Hector there's a sister Hector to your husband here where are you where your husband I want you to come and take this you just in my spirit brother Hector or sister Hector? both of you I'm
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hold both. You keep it where you go. Today, what day? What today day? What today? August the 6th. Six or seven. What day? Six. Six. Remember this scripture. Thank you, Jesus. They were in my spirit. Don't know what happened, but they were in my spirit. Sister Etta, praise God. I didn't ask that, but today I see you. Thank you, Jesus. Let us search your glory. Thank you, Lord. What do we want to say, sir? We say the benediction. Seven o'clock tonight. Thank God. I said, Thank God. Thank God for His ministry this day. And use His servant. Some may be going back, but some are coming in. God has just visited us today. I feel a broken spirit as the Lord is moving. I feel like there's a curfew. I feel like God has curfew us to be here. It's moving up and down this aisle. Lord Jesus. If you don't want to go, don't go. Stay. But for those who want to go eat, dinner is next door. We're back this evening at 7 o'clock in the name of the Lord. God bless you. Shake somebody's hand and say, good to be here today. I mean, shake somebody's hand and say, good to be here today. God bless you. Now unto him that's able to keep us from falling. Present us faultless before the presence of his glory. The exceeding joy to the only wise God be glory, majesty, dominion, and power now and forever. Let all God people say amen.
Yeah. 